Jigsaw is the eighth installment in the Saw franchise, this time directed by Australia's own Spearig Brothers, and in a way it's kind of cool that the film has now returned to the hands of Australian filmmakers. So this film tells the story of a group of people who wind up in a house, they wake up, there's a whole bunch of rooms filled with booby traps that they've got to navigate their way through because they're all accused of something. And in the meantime there's a police investigation because who knows, is the Jigsaw killer John Kramer back from the dead or is it a copycat? Now the last time we had a Saw film was seven years ago, 2010, we had Saw the final chapter. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't. And look, the Saw franchise really went downhill. I mean, the first one was such a refreshingly original, brilliant film, and I thought the first couple of sequels were okay. I mean, you know, then it started getting into cash grab territory, and the quality just went way downhill. Uh, I only saw number seven not that long ago, and it wasn't the worst movie I've ever seen, but it was pretty bad. So you'd think having seven years, like, they would actually come up with a really good story, some great characters, something inventive, something different to kickstart this franchise again. But uh, they really didn't. This movie is just a rehash of everything we've seen in the Saw films before. A group of people wake up in a room with the trap and they've got to get their way through it and someone gets bumped off with each trap. Oh come on that's not a spoiler. And in the end of course there's a big twist which sort of in one hand has you thinking okay like so that's what's happening. On the other hand it kind of makes you think back to everything you've seen and makes it a little bit confusing, maybe a little convoluted. And realistically this film didn't have much going for it. I didn't care about any of these characters. We didn't really know much about them other than what they had supposedly done to get them into this situation. The cast was filled with pretty much no-name actors. The only one who I recognised was Laura Vandervoort who played Supergirl in the Smallville TV show. And the acting was really poor. Eh? And not just the acting, the dialogue. Oh my god. There were some scenes where there were lines of dialogue that actually had me sitting there like, oh, wow. Uh, in terms of like the gore and the traps and everything, look, the, the gore effects were actually pretty good. They were very realistic and, you know, there was some great prosthetic artistry done there, but the traps have just gotten to a point where there's just no way someone could do this stuff. I mean, aside from the fact that it would take like 10 years to construct one of them, a lot of the times they just defied logic. They relied on someone being in a specific place at a specific time or whatever and you know, I mean, if that person doesn't happen to be there then the trap fails and yeah, so there was just no logic to them. And in the end when the twist is revealed, obviously I'm not going to give any spoilers, uh, it was okay, but it borrowed way too heavily from the twist of another Saw film, uh, which I won't say which because that's going to lead to spoilers. But yeah, it was one of those things I thought, okay, it's kind of cool, but at the same time, you just get the feeling that they just kind of shoehorned a bunch of stuff in to make it seem plausible, and it left you with a few more questions than answers. So guys, look, in the end, if you're a huge fan of the Saw franchise, if you have loved every single movie up until now, you're probably going to like it, okay? It doesn't reinvent anything, it just gives you more of what you've seen before. It by far wasn't the worst movie I've seen this year, but at the same time I'm going to give Jigsaw a 3 out of 10. So over to you guys, have you seen Jigsaw and what did you think of it? And what is your favourite in the Saw franchise? I mean, I'm guessing a lot of people are going to say number one, but I know there are some people out there who really dug some of the sequels, so let me know, what's your favourite Saw film? So drop me some comments either here or on Facebook, all the social media links are in the description below because I like to talk about movies and I would love to talk about movies with you. Catch you next time. Click subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest movie reviews. Skynet will be taking over any day now, so what have you got to lose? Nyaaah!